I'm Ricky Pittman, and I'm going to make uh, a deer out of chicken wire. So I'm not, I'm not really going to go by measurements or anything. I'm just going to go by size. So on the table right here, I'm going to pull in a good little bit. And if you're doing a lot of cutting chicken wire, this right here helps a lot. It'll be in a link below. And they're pretty inexpensive. So, now we do have some deer that just uh, has a measurement. This one I kind of want to just freehand, and this is going to be more of a yard ornament. It isn't going to have any great vines. It's going to be basically to hold lights. So, it's something, I wanted to do something that you at home can do for Christmas and just for simple yard decoration that's very inexpensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and this is an 18 inch row, so it's 18 inches and it's 150 foot long and it's, it's very inexpensive, it's like 30, 40 bucks and there's a link to it also in the link below. So I'm on. I just cut me a random piece. I'm gonna say about 12 foot, maybe longer. And I'm gonna double it. Now I'm gonna do the body first. And what I like to do with the body is I'm just going to make a circle. And if you see, I'm going to say, I'll measure it for you at home, so when you go to make it, you'll be able to tell. So this, I'm going to say it's about 36. I'm not really for sure. And here's a tool that's handy, it's called a SIG ring gun. And I'll have a link to it in the link below, description below. All right, so I'm gonna say it's about 42. And I'm just gonna all green. And I wanna make something that's kinda, kinda fairly simple and quick. So let's see what we, wow. It's only 32, about 28, so it's about a 30 inch. So. Let's just cut this off. And as you can see, it, it cuts fairly quickly if you can just get it to hold I'm going to hold it right quick I'm going to hold it this is going to be the body I'm going to make sure of this It'll be flimsy until we get it made. I want this to be the belly so it hides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to this, about right here. I'm going to bend it in. And I'm going to come up and I'll measure this. And I'm going to put like a triangle here. And then I'm going to come back. It almost looks like a duck. I'm going to roll this in and kind of shape this. So if you can see, now I'm going to see ring it to hold, and then we'll measure it so you'll know what to, 
bend it and cut it. Those are sig rings. They go in your gun, and you get a box of 10,000. I think it's about 50, 60 bucks, but 10,000 will do a lot. You can use the hand hog ringer, but I strongly recommend getting this little setup if you're going to do this often. Now, if you're just doing one or two little project, just get the simple old tool, the hand. Rings. So that's the shape I'm going for. Now what I'm going to do, you can make a longer body, but I like the shorter body because it gives it a cuteness and a shape. So if you start from the bottom, Go up on the belly. This is 26 inches. Once you get to this point here, right here, as you can see, the first bend is at 8 inches. Then I bend it again and it's 9 inches because you want it just a little bit longer. And then all you have to do is come down and make the curve. And then you can just shape it to the way you want it. And we can work on this a little bit later. So we have the body. Now it's time to do the legs. Now here's the way I like to do the legs. And it's going to be really flimsy until we put some wire. So. I like to take and make one side of the leg and I'll have to cut more of this. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to come up and down. So this piece is about seven foot. And what I'm going to do is just bend it like you would a bow tie. And that's okay. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to take the top of this and I'm going to place it right across here and let the rest hang down. So basically what I'm going to do is done it like this. And then I'll show you. I'm going to Now, here's a corner. These, if you just paint this, you put in these sea rings onto your product. When you paint it, you have to paint it with oil base. If you paint these with the latex, they will rust and it'll make your product look horrible. You can get galvanized. The bad part about the galvanized one is when you make grapevine products, they, they'll be always be shiny. So for us, we get the one that is uh, just regular steel, mild steel. A link to it will be in the bottom. And it's best just using the ammo paint, which it takes a little bit longer. Now, here's what I have so far. And that's a little bit tall, but not too much. So now what I want, to, and if you'll notice right here, I have almost even space, but I want the butt to come up a little high in the back. So now I'm just going to pull this to where, and you may have to work with it a little 
to get the desired look that you're going for. Now, you try to do this on the flip side. I'm going to take this way and I'm going to roll it like this. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking this and I'm going to just roll this. And what that does, it forms that layer pretty good. Now I've done this for years, so that's the reason I've got the leg on almost perfect on cutting, but I didn't get too much. So we got that one on. Let's do this front one. This one, we're gonna roll it this way and curl it. Now this leg, now this leg is gonna be a little bit longer. But I'll show you how we're going to fix it. And you see how flimsy it is? Don't worry about that. This is what we're coming up with right now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little mark here to work how my leg's going to be. And I'm kind of shaping it a little bit. And like I said, don't worry about it being flimsy. We're going to take care of that here in a little bit. Actually, I kind of like this. This is probably, I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that for right now. And I'm going to do the other side. So what I want to do is cut about a seven foot piece again. So I'll just pull this out. And I'm going to measure it this time because I need about seven foot and there's no sense in wasting. So I'm going to... Hmm. I'm come just a little bit past this. Yep, I think it's good. So let me cut. work of uh, what would just be forever. Again, I'm going to just fold it in half. Just run it down. Now be careful because the ends of this wire is very sharp. That end. And what I'm going to try to do is pull this up just like before, get it in the center, give it a little bit of bend so you know where it's at, and like a bow, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to take this side, just like the other side. And we're going to uh, see green. Again, I'm just going to take this, pull it apart, I'm going to let it go over. If you'll notice, I've cut these a little bit longer, and that's okay. If you can see, they're way longer. So, I believe it could have been about five foot. So, take this, and let's hog ring this. ring it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make sure and pull the, if you'll see, they're separated. So I'm just going to push them together. Be careful not to see ring your fingers. 
and always wear a glove. Now to get this to where it sits perfect, I'm just going to take and I'm going to bend this in before we roll it. So that one's good. This one. So we're gonna rub this one. Doesn't matter if you go this way or or this way. I prefer going on the inside. Now I want to take this and I want to roll it to create that leg. As I roll it, I'm just going to see ring this down at the bottom and just come up through here and secure the chicken wire. And then I can put my bin in it to where it matches this leg. Now don't worry if you have one leg a little bit longer than the other one. That's fine. We'll take care of that just as soon as we get it. And you'll notice the body. Don't worry about that. Now this one, I'm going to roll it this way. Let me see. I want to roll it this way. Chicken wire is just so easy to manipulate. I love working with chicken wire. It's just, I've seen about it this soon. And you can create just about anything out of chicken wire. As long as you work willing to stick with it. All right. Now we have basically got our deer, and if we pull it apart, you can see what it's looking like. But we're not going to shake it. Now it's time to make it stronger. We have this, and I believe it's 12 gauge roll wire. Now, Lowe's. In the fencing area, you have something similar to this that's very inexpensive that you can get. And, it, and, it, and what it does is that line that goes at the bottom of a fence. So you can get it loads. And it's probably because we buy this in bulk, loads would probably be your best bet. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to Hey, and I'm going to outline the inside of my wire. Now this will rust. So you will have to paint it with an enamel paint or spray a can. If you go and you buy a spray can, it'll say enamel. So I'm just going to outline this. And here's something that you want to keep in mind. When you outline it, leave a foot. So when I start, I'm going to leave about a foot from this leg. And I'll show you in a second why. I'm going to outline this and come down. And I'm going to leave a foot. And I'm going to cut this. You can use both cutters. More simpler, easier or you can use wire cutter. To make this easy, let's go ahead and cut us two of these. We'll need one for the other side. So.
Now I'm going to sea ring it on the inside, leaving my foot sticking out of extra wire. And I'm going to put a quite a bit of sea rings here as I go up through here. Now some people may say, well that doesn't look like a deer because it has no belly. That's okay because what we're doing is more of a Christmas deer and your deer can be however you want. I just particularly like the shape of this type of deer. Now this one got a little bit longer than a foot, but that's okay. It's better be longer than not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop, and then I'm going to bend it back. This, you want it to come back into the leg a little bit, and just kind of poke it in there, and see ring this. This is how your deer will stay in your yard. Is you'll make a stake, take stakes and drive it in. This one, going to do the same. This goes up in there, so we know it's not going to come out. Keep anybody from getting bent. Always take that wire and bend it in. Do the other side the same way. So leave about a foot. And do the inside with your sea rings. So, I'm going to create my loop, run it back into my leg, and bend it up. Do the same here. I want to make sure that the ends of these wires are poking inside so no one can grab it and get cut. Now it's starting to take shape, but I notice that some of the, this leg is a little bit longer or whatever. Don't worry, we still haven't took care. We've got to put, we're going to take care of that in a minute. We're now going to put wire in here. So what I want to do is to go ahead and cut me oh, about three foot, maybe four. So I've got two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. Now, the way I want to do this, so I want to kind of make it like a circle. And mash the 
down into where I have an oval. Alright, what I want to do here is I'm just going to take this and kind of do it like this. And I'm half oval. And I'm going to start in the back, so I'm just going to pull this out. I want to open up this belly a little bit. So, right from here to about here, I'm just going to cut so I can pull it apart. this apart to where it'll open up and we'll come up a little bit higher and the reason I'm coming up higher is to get that butt ops and they're just perfect like that I'm gonna do the front but the front doesn't have to be done as much so I'm going to come in from here to here Now it's time that we're going to put our piece into the back. So simply just place it. So we're going to place it here. It's about right at the top of where the cut is. We're going to come and we're going to put this so it goes inside. We're going to do the same this side. We'll kind of make it come up. And what this will also do is when we go shape it, it'll keep that shape. Now, if you feel that it's still flimsy, you can put more wire in it. Now, I've got this one flat, so I'm going to kind of reach in there and pull it out to make this round. And now, I want to curve this back a little bit to shape it. Pull this out. I'm going to put this cross over. Don't worry about the floppiness. So we're going to do the same as we did in the back. We're going to kind of create this. And I'm going to stick it about where it comes up where it's cut. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure you put enough C rings to hold the wire into place where it will not shift or you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna get 
this. Need some more measuring. And I'm, I'm absolutely making sure that I get enough back of this chicken wire and pulling the chicken wire back out so the leg is round. Flimsy. We have the shape that we're looking for. And what I want to do is now is to show you how to fill it up and just go crazy with it. Whatever you want to do to make it look, you can pull this down and make it a big buck. Um, you know, and we'll do the ears and antlers. And if you go and buy this at Lowe's, you'll get a plastic one and pay $150. This way you can make one for under $50. This is the way to go. Put a little time into it now. And uh, enjoy it for years. So I'm just pulling me out a random wind. Cut it off. If you were going to do this, you really, it, you really need to get a pair of this. You really need to get this aromatic scissor cutter. It makes light work of cutting the chicken wire. Alright. Always double up. It just makes it seem a little. Now I'm going to show you a trick. We're using this piece for fill. In other words, to not see through. So if I take it, let me get up closer. If I take and just put it on like this, you see how that is? You can't, it doesn't fit. But if I take and just pull it a little and, and just pull it on one side a little to stretch one part of it, what you'll see is it will cover a lot better. It crosses over and just, it, it makes it a lot better on coverage. So I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna stretch my wire. Now, you could put your nail in your table or you could use something that's got a hard edge, edge of a table and just pull it. See here? Just take it and pull it. Anything to distort the wire so it's not where it, it just makes it where it's so much harder to see through. Now, for this, it's easier for me to lay it down and cover it. So, but what I've got is a pair of needle hooks. I don't like using the same ring because it does rust, but on this it's okay, but if I was making an art piece, I would not use no seam ring. But since this is a, a simpler piece for the speed of it, I'm going to use the serum. But you could take the ends, poke it through, take your needle nose, stick on the inside, pull and give it a little twist. Just pull it and a little twist and pull back up and it, it'll lock it in. So let me do that one more time. I'm going to pull. Grab it, pull it, and twist it around. And you'll see that hole. And if I was doing an art piece, 
That's the way I do the whole thing. But on this one, I'm going to just searing this. And this is just a cover. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it. And like I said, hey, you can leave this loose because here's the beauty of chicken wire. You can manipulate it. You can get it to do what you want. So let's just wrap any way I want to. Let's just, I'm going to just show you how forgiving this can be. So I'm just going to go crazy with it. As long as you don't lose your original shape, and you can see your original shape, I'm going to show you. Doesn't that look crazy? Now I'm going to show you what to do. As long as you can see your original shape, just take it and squeeze it in there. Squeeze this wire. And two. Your shape that you created earlier. And the more you do this, the thicker your dare or your project is going to become. And the more you have on it, the less you'll see through it. You can get something, uh, a piece of stick, and get it. You can take the wire cutters and shape it. It's chicken wire. You will be amazing. You'll be amazed at what you can do with the chicken wire. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to put a piece on the inside. So I'm going to cut me a random piece. just instinct on this. What I think I may like. So I'm going to just do this and I'm going to do one leg. Now because the hook down here, what I want to do, I know this is going to be, I'm going to bend it over and give it a little bit more. So whenever I bend this around, what I did, you see what I did? Take on this. And bend this around. And just come up. this to meet and cross over because I want to kind of give it some muscle. Bend it around.
how that leg, how stout this leg became. Look at here. Now, if I was to paint this, you would not see this wire on the inside. It'd almost be invisible. So. And I just continue to do this until I get the shape. Like I said, you can take, you can get as creative, creative as you would like. And if you're just putting strands of wire on it, then you can paint her up like that and just throw some lights, cover it with lights. And then I'm going to show you how to make a simple set of antlers. You get the idea on how to do the leg. I want to show you how to do the antler. And I want to take this time to thank you for joining us. And ask you to like and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more videos, we do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is... I've got this about eight, nine foot. Just gonna go through here, kind of roll it into a, just a, I guess a straight line rope. And I wanna take piece of this wire. Hmm. I'm going to say about four foot. I'm going to bend this up. And what this is going to do is going to help hold the antler in its place. Now you can make different types of antlers. This one is just the simple, but yet this is one that I truly like. So I'm taking this. Hmm. I'm going to bend this halfway. Get my halfway mark. See rainbow wire. And I'm on. Come out. See what I did there? I just came out with a little point. See ring it. Come up. One more little point. But just a hair bit longer. You can see. Now I want to make a Y. these around and I want to keep the antlers on this one simple and you can go however you want but I want to keep it simple so that you get the ideal once you know the ideal you can do it however you want so I'm going to repeat this over here
twist. Cut a Y. Kind of want to match this one. And then and the reason we want the antlers to come off is for when the season's over and you want to storage it makes it a whole lot easier storaging it Story. Make sure you have a point. That way you can stick it in through here. We need to And there we have it. Now, if this is yours, you put more and fill her in as much as you like. I want to thank you for joining us today. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.